But, but, if, but if, you want to, if you want to deal with your relationship with God in the most effective way, and you want to be the most obedient with God, and you want to really say that you are leading with love, and if, if you really want to say, I love my wife, but I don't know why she's acting like that. And, or I, if you want to say, you love, you love, you love. Well, then Jesus gives us, through Paul, a list. And it's there. And, and you can put it on your mirror. You can, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, guys. If, if you're kind of like out, when Elisa and I get in a good one, good fight, I go get my car. I don't know where I'm going, but... But I go get in the car and cool off. And the way God he usually works with me is, is I get right up about to Antwerp, which is just over the hill and down the street. And, and all of a sudden I hear God kicking me in the rear, going, go back there and fix that. Go back there and fix that. And then, and then the list comes into my mind. Do you see what the first thing on the list is? Can we say that all together? One, two, three. Okay, it's patience. I want us to say it loud. I want, I want you to go on today. The, the only thing I really learned today is we said patience loud. Okay? So on the count of three, patience. One, two, three. Patience. That wasn't very loud. <laughs> Let's try it again. On the count of three. If you don't, I'm going to make y'all sing another country joy to the world song. Let's just. <laughs> I was singing that now. <laughs> Get up here now. No. All right. Well, patience. One, two, three. Patience! That's the first thing. I just had a fight with my wife, and, and your friend says, well, what was it all about? And, oh, I don't you know how women could do this. And she, she wanted to go shopping, and she had this list, and she got mad because I didn't take the trash out, and yada, yada, yada. And, and I love her like crazy, and she didn't respond to me like that. And if your friend wants to go, well, do you really love her? And you're, yeah, of course I love her. Let me ask you a question. The first thing on your list, were you patient? <laughs> lose. <laughs> Just get that in your head right now when you're driving up the street and patience comes into your mind. You just turn around and go back. You lose. You're not going to have argue patience. It's the number one thing on the list because it goes everything else follows. I'm just telling you, you can't be doing all these other things on the list, excuse me, without patience. Love is patient and kind. It's not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love doesn't demand its own way. Love's not irritable. It doesn't keep record of wrongs. It never, it's never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. It never gives up. It never loses faith. It's always hopeful. It endures through every circumstance. Love will what? That's real love. If you've got something else going on, you've got a counterfeit. You know what I'm saying? This is your list. You can't argue this. This isn't something I made up. Dr. Phil didn't make this up. Oprah didn't pull several religions together and put this. This is a list of love from God. It's your checklist. It works. I've, I've had, when I was doing marriage counseling, I can't tell you how many times I stuck this list in a guy's face and, and it just, I've had guys just weep. Because you can't beat it with strength. You can't beat it with courage. You can't beat it with anything else. Were you patient? That's the first thing. Do you love God? There's another question. Because what's the first thing on the list? Put it one, two, three. Patience. Do you love God? Because that's the first thing. I watch people bail from God. You know, we've got this jacket in the box in the house, and we believe that our prayer should be answered right away, and, and, and they are. Patience. Do you love God? Never see